anyone who knows me knows I am an avid coffee drinker. I drink coffee 24-7. As a matter of fact, I have a Facebook page with the same name. Check it out. Anyways, I got a very pleasant, yet very disturbing story to tell. So, here we go. After work, while waiting for my ride, I decided to go over to a local coffee shop and grab a cup of coffee. So I strolled on over there and walked in the door, up to the counter, and ordered a medium coffee with cream and sugar. Just how I like it, don't judge. The cashier lady, not my favorite cashier lady, my favorite cashier lady was a beautiful blonde goddess with angelic blue eyes that I'd been crushing on for months. I, I didn't see her anywhere. As a matter of fact, I didn't see anyone else either. Just me and the new girl. An older lady, kinda creepy with stringy gray hair, age spots, and these fucked up looking green eyes. Anyway, she went to go make me my coffee. Uh, seconds later, she came back with said coffee and placed it on the counter in front of me, rang it up, and told me the price. I, with anticipation of tasting this wonderful concoction that now sits in front of me, whipped out my debit card and proceeded to swipe through the card reader. Then, the most horrific thing happened. Those four little words that no one with a debit card ever wants to read came flashing on the screen. Unable to read card. No. No, this can't be happening. So, I, I swiped my card. Again. Same thing. Again. Same thing. Ugh. So, so the creepy cashier lady says, uh, let me see if I can swipe it through on my side. Okay. Uh, anything at this point. So, she swiped the card through her side. Same thing. Why, Lord, why? Meanwhile, I can hear the coffee calling my name. Mike. Mike. Oh, the torture. She then looked at me and, and says, Hey, don't you work at the grocery store across the street? And I say, yes. Yes, I do. And here's the... Here's the disturbing part. She says... It's just coffee. You can have it on the house. The angels start singing, all the planets aligned, and for that brief moment, all is right with the world. I got free coffee. Although, although I am very appreciative of this gesture from the weird cashier lady, her comment of it being just coffee disturbs me. It, it is not, not just, just coffee. coffee. It is the fuel that it takes to get stuff done. A lifeline for some, a comfort for others, but it is never just coffee. Thank you, ma'am, I said as I took the cup off the counter and walked back through the door and back over to where I was waiting for my ride. I lifted the cup up to my mouth, fully prepared to taste this warm sensation, but, uh, but nothing came out. I, uh, thinking the, the lid must be closed, so I, I lower the cup down to check it out. No. No, it's, it's, it's not closed. I, I lifted it up again. Still nothing. I could feel the coffee moving around inside the cup, so I, I knew, I knew it was full. I lowered the cup once again, this time taking off the lid to see what the problem was. What I saw inside almost made me want to stop drinking coffee. Almost. As I lifted the lid, I saw the two beautiful blue eyes of my favorite coffee lady floating in my cup. One must have uh, plugged the hole in the lid to stop the coffee from coming out. I was in shock. Horrified. Then, I thought about it. 
There was no way this beautiful creature would ever go out with the likes of me. But now, I'd always have a piece of her wherever I'd go. So I took the eyes out of the cup, shaking the coffee off of them and putting them in my pocket, and then I put the lid back on my cup and commenced to drink my coffee. Damn, it was good. My ride finally arrived and drove me home. I placed the eyeballs on my nightstand facing the bed, so every morning I could look into the eyes of my favorite cashier lady just like I dreamt of for months. Dreams do, do come, come true. true. Mine did.